Hi everyone, welcome to part five of the Keller Williams Consumer App Video Tutorial Series. I'm Jeffrey Hastings with the McDonald Hastings team at Keller Williams Market Pro Realty in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Today's video is the fifth part in our series of videos that showcase the incredible features and capabilities that are incorporated into the KW app. The focus of this video is on exploring and explaining the guide section of the app, which you can get to using the shortcut button on the main search screen. Before we get started, I just want to encourage you to check out the other videos in our series if you haven't already, because they will show you all of the tips and tricks to help you get the most out of the KW app. And there are so many great features built into it that we had to break our tutorial into five individual videos. I've included the links to those videos in the description below, so check them out. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So you've downloaded the KW app, you've opened it, explored it a bit, maybe checked out some properties and done some of the things that we discussed in our other videos. And if you look toward the bottom, in the center is the guide shortcut button. When you click on that, it opens up to the main guide page, which you can see is divided into two parts right there at the top, buying and selling. What these are, are easy to follow basic steps involved for each process. Now just a quick side note, something to be aware of, KW agents like Heather and I have the ability to customize these guides. So when you access your guides section, the buying and selling guides may look a little different, be in a different order or include additional or different sections. But for the purposes of this video, I'll show you the ones that are included by default by Keller Williams. So we'll start with the buying guide, which is the tab on the left at the top. It's also the one that opens by default when you click on the guide shortcut from the main page. And just scanning over it briefly as you scroll up and down, you see there's about nine sections and each section has a little clear circle to the left of it. And those little circles are there for you so you can mark that step as completed and keep track of where you are in the process and what step is next for you to complete. And let me just stop here for a second, share my thoughts about this little extra feature so that if nothing else, it stays in the back of your mind with any realtor that you work with. You should never have to rely on yourself checking off circles on an app to know where you are in the buying or selling process. It's too important of a process. Your agent should be communicating with you frequently and always updating you well enough so that you know exactly where you are in the process, what the latest updates are, and what step is coming out next. But again, this guide is really primarily informational and helpful to those who are wanting to get more familiar with the process of buying or selling a home. So with that being said, let's get back to the app. Now any of the guide sections can be accessed at any time. You don't need to complete one step before you can click on any of the next steps. So I can click on the first step here and see it, but I can also scroll down on the last step and see it too, just like that. And to explore all of this more in depth, let's start back at the beginning. Now the first step that we recommend to all of our clients in any home buying process should really be to speak with the lender to find out what your financial situation is, what your financing options are, how much home you can afford. So our first step on the guide here is to get pre-approved. Many listing agents will encourage homeowners to not agree to show their homes to someone unless they are pre-approved by a lender. And as you can see in the blurb on the buying guide page here, it explains why this step is important. Now, when you click on this step, the app opens up to the Keller Mortgage page. And there are a number of reasons why using Keller Mortgage benefits you, but we'll save those details for a future video. As you can see here though, if you haven't gotten pre-approved for a mortgage loan yet, you can click this button right here on the app to do that, and it takes you to a landing page for Keller Mortgage. You can see some of the highlights of using Keller Mortgage in their Zero Plus program here. It'll ask you if you're working with a KW agent, if you're working with an agent from another company, or if you don't have an agent yet. Select the one that's appropriate for your situation and then scroll down if you selected that you're working with a KW agent, it will prompt you to find your agent. Just click on that, and you type in your agent's name and select it, and it will take you forward in the process from there. Now, if you selected that you're working with an agent from another company, like that, just click continue at the bottom, read and accept the disclosures that are there, and clicked I accept where it will take you forward in the loan application process. And then if you selected that you don't have an agent yet, it will do the same thing as if you're working with an agent from another company and take you forward through the process of applying 
for a loan. And again, we'll do another video in the future specifically about Keller Mortgage, but I just wanted to show you what that looks like in the guide section. Now, if you already have financing back on the get pre-approved first step screen here, you would just select that choice and it will automatically move you forward to the next step in the guide and in the home buying process. Also at the bottom of the get pre-approved first step screen here, at the bottom you see what your three options are in these guides during each step. You can click to go back to the previous step. We're at the first step here, so that's not an option, but it'll be in the next steps so you can see it. Or you can click to advance to the next step in the guide. You can also mark this step as completed, and this one shows already that I've marked it as completed, by clicking on that button in the bottom right. If you remember me telling you about the little clear circles on the main buying guide page, when you click completed for any step, that little clear circle becomes a blue circle with a check mark. So you can quickly see which steps you've completed and which step you're on. So what comes next after getting pre-approved? You're gonna start your search. Now here you can see how the app provides more information for different steps in the home buying process. If you click on start your search, it takes you to this page where it explains this step, including what we as realtors do for you, how to use the app to search for a property, what information you can find about properties, neighborhoods, and lifestyle trends, how and why to favorite the properties that you're interested in, and about saving your searches. You can find our detailed tutorial video about the search and our part three video that goes into all of the details about using the app when searching for a home. And once you're comfortable with this step, you can advance to the next step directly by clicking at the bottom. You can mark this step as completed there at the box in the bottom right, or you can just return to the main buying guide page and click tour homes. Now the tour homes page describes what will look like uh, when you're working with your agent, along with great information about what you can be doing during this step and what things you can expect as well. This page answers many questions that are common in the home buying process, including how can I make the most of my time when touring homes, what should I expect when touring homes, how many homes should I visit, and what should I look for when visiting homes. Reading through these and referring back to this page during the home search can be particularly helpful for first-time home buyers. Again, make sure that you're in frequent communication with your realtor and they should be able to go into more detail with you. Now, after you have toured some homes and found one that you would like to move forward on, you can go to the next step in the guide, which is to make an offer. Here you'll find what to expect during this stage of the home buying process, what your offer will include, what situations might pop up like contingencies and counter offers, and what your agent will be doing for you during each part. And again, I can't stress enough about the importance of communicating with your realtor during this time because if you're interested enough in a property to make an offer, you wanna know that your agent is doing everything possible for you to make that happen, or counseling you if unexpected situations arise and deserve your attention. Now the next step in the guide is when you execute a contract. And definitely one of the most critical stages of the home buying process and a stage where working with realtors like us is crucial as we navigate all of the complex legal requirements involved in writing and responding to contracts with you. Now this page of the app mentions the different key parts of the real estate contract, what your agent does throughout the contract, what types of pitfalls, as they call them, you should avoid, and when you may want to consider making an offer on a property. After that is the home inspection. As you can see in the buying guide, and this walks you through what to expect after your offer is accepted and the property needs an inspection. You can read about what a home inspection is, what it includes, what to watch for and what to do once you get the inspection results in. Now agents like Heather and I will then go over the inspection report with you item by item and will counsel you on what can be negotiated with the seller. And once you have completed this step, you're brought to the home insurance step of the guide. And when you click on home insurance in the buying guide, it brings you to the Keller covered page, which you can see is similar to the Keller mortgage page. If you've not purchased home insurance, you can click on go to Keller Covered, or you can compare quotes from insurance carriers all across the country, and you can do that for free straight through this KW app. We'll explore that in more detail in a future video along with the Keller Mortgage. If you already have a home insurance carrier, simply click on that option, and you'll be advanced to the next step in the buying guide, which is home warranty. Now here you can learn about home warranties, including what they are, whether you need one, and we always recommend one for sure, what to look for in a home warranty, 
And for each of our clients, Heather and I research which home warranty company provides the best options for you, including different packages and different price ranges, because different packages cover different parts of the home and different price ranges may or may not fit your financial situation. And we can also do our best to negotiate the payment for home warranty into a contract for you if you want. It's very important that your agent discusses this with you as it can really save you for uh, a long time from any headaches uh, after you've purchased a property. And then finally, uh, the last step in the buying guide is the most exciting step for our clients. It's the close. Read through the step of the guide to learn about the role of title companies in a closing, things that you should do before the closing, what you can expect at the closing, and what you should be prepared to bring with you. You can also see some tips to do after the closing is completed. So let's go back to the main guide page to look through the selling guide. You see that tab at the top right. Since many times, if you're searching for a home, you also have a home that you need to sell. So when you click on the selling tab at the top, you can see that the format is the same as the buying guide. You can scan through the steps by scrolling up and down and you can see the circles uh, where you can march, mark each step as completed if you like. The first step is showing your home. And when you open that, you can see that it explains the basics for you, including some great tips on how to get your house ready to show that will provide the maximum benefit to you when your home is listed. It also gives some recommendations for what to expect when your house is being shown to prospective buyers. Now, after your home has been shown, the next step is to review offers. Here you can learn about what an offer actually is, how to evaluate them when you receive them, uh, which should be done with counsel provided by your agent, and what to do if you find yourself in the fantastic situation of receiving multiple offers. The next step here is the home inspection, and this page gives you, again, the guidelines for what to expect from the seller's side and how you can best prepare for both the inspection and the inspector's report. After the home inspection is the appraisal, which can sometimes be a tense time for some homeowners because you as the owner want your home to be worth as much as it can. And this page provides you an explanation of what an appraisal is, what it involves, how you can prepare, and how it can impact the sale of your home. And this is one of those critical parts of selling a home where a realtor can truly make a difference. For instance, when an appraisal value comes in lower than you believe it should be, your realtor can and should work to provide a comparative market analysis to justify an accurate appraisal value. Definitely, definitely stay in communication with your agent during this time. And finally, on the selling side, there's the close. And this page of the selling guide goes into what you should do before the closing, what to expect during the closing, and what comes after the closing. And reading this through can help you understand everything involved in a closing and make you more comfortable with the process. So those are the buying guide and selling guide that are included with the KW app. It really provides you a clear overview of what's involved and what to expect in the home buying and selling process, which is especially helpful for first time home buyers and sellers. And I'll say it again though, because it can't be stressed enough. Please make sure that you have an agent like Heather and I, who are committed to staying in frequent communication with you and who educate you along the way through any and all parts of the process that you don't understand. This is often one of the biggest purchases that people make in their lives, and you need to know and need to understand what's involved every step of the way. As always, take some time to explore the guides and the other amazing features included with the KW app. Rewatch this video, watch our other app tutorial videos, play around with the app, because the more familiar you become with what the app can do for you, the more effective and enjoyable the home buying process can be. Also, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Thank you all for watching. This is Jeff Hastings, the McDonald Hastings team with Keller Williams Market Pro Realty in Fayetteville, Arkansas, providing all of our clients with championship service. Remember to be safe, be kind, and let's take care of one another, right? See you next time.